Elder Madrigo back of Imperator Rome. It is 528, and that is 226 BCE. We are in a number of conflicts right now, including the League of Corinth and Aeolia. We are going to try and take uh, Rhodes, because I think it seems fun. Why not? We're not at War of Egypt, are we? Oh, the Egypt Seleucid War. Cool. That's awesome. Okay, so I got some troops here that are taking down Crete for me. And I have a nice little bit of fleet that's moving over towards Rhodes, which is great. And we have just got some lovely civic advances as well. Population capacity and some good stuff. Now, we obviously went all the way down for recruitment, which is great. I would like to keep an eye on what other things we can get. I mean, there's better supply limits, force maintenance. Forced March unit ability would be super good. <sighs> that would be good, but I worry about not maintaining my economy. We're pretty good for Navy right now just because our economy is so good, so in that regard anyway. We could go down for citizen output, Freeman output, and promotion speed, and all that good stuff. We don't really have a lot of tribesmen. We're not really tribes people. We should have league city subjects from city's territory, especially in trade, and produce extra trade Goods pass. Da, da, da. Imprisoning characters that are secret gamblers that are crap will no longer occur tyranny, penalty, or rule popularity. Oh, cool. Public slavery. <laughs> That's actually awesome. Finding the right guy thing here would be quite tight. Leaves needed for surplus, overseers, land tithe, taxation laws. Ooh, and pop migration speed 20%. What? Okay, hang on, because actually better control over our taxation laws might be a good thing, because the moment we have no tax policy. Infrastructure would mean more pop growth, but exemption for nobility would mean output reduction, but increased happiness. So that's actually not that key, as much as I would like it to be. Then we have build time and capital import routes with varying usefulness. Over here in the raidery, you can get uh, subject bonuses, which is nice. So there is something that's really good here. Releasing subjects from our own lines at peace deal will really now reduce AE by 5. Comes come a tributary. War score cost 5%. AE impact. War score cost is actually so good. Every Legion commander gains AE change. Grand Triumph, Loyalty of Generals. You need it. You need that desperately. And then winning Land by the Spear is just so fun. Oh, yeah, look at that. Polybius Square and Patriconium. Okay, I think I should probably go down this route a little bit more. The AE change is just too useful because that's my main thing that's stopping me, you know? My economy's okay. I just need to be able to grow more. Nice. They've attacked me here, but we're still kicking ass. Waiting for my lads to arrive. Eat them, boys. A weary of war. Remind them what happens to disloyal troops, lose popularity. Uh, I will hand out the cash because we don't need cash. And that is a claim on the province of Dorsa, which is fantastic. And they are currently in the midst. They created a feudatory over here. And they were war of these guys. Just them, interestingly. That's going to be cool. Still. Pushing away at this. Let's go and help them out. I'm surprised the Antigonoids have managed to hold on quite well. How do you fill up the situation with mobile? Oh, shit. Head of the Agathead family, utterly fill up the situation with mobilizing local forces in the metropolis of Pella. Although not just not yet hostile, this could act with a civil war if left untended, uh, attended. How many? Did, oh, you son of a bitch. How many does he have? He's got none. What? All right. Can we bring him to trial? Very low chance of success because of his massive power base. Son of a bitch. Um, 
Grant stipends. Smear reputation. I want the one that gives him the most strongest power base. doesn't have a family estate he loses this well you know what I'm just gonna keep going so surprisingly it's not wait what Metro Nagathir he was in he was the legate and he was a pretender to become Basilius and a friend of the governor oh my god what wasn't he my heir no My heir is now Cassandros Antiparit. Right, he is the blood. And the Meneos. Okay, great. Could you not, please? Okay, 27% of the 20% threshold of the power base are disloyal. Oh my god, there's gonna be a civil war. No. How do we deal with this? This is not good. This is not good. Okay, let's think. Let's think. Okay. Uh. Elf. Corruption, loyalty, popularity, power base. These are all the Macedonian characters. He is loyal. He is definitely not loyal. You are very upset with me, aren't you? Because of outraged family and outraged aristocrat. Okay. Right. This guy is a little bit upset with me. But, we can grant him a regional cognomen. Grant him a loyalty. Impose sanctions. No. Bring to trial. Reward veterans. Right, he has no... It says loyal veterans 0.16, but this hasn't updated. So... What if I just give him free hands? Right, there we go. That's all I needed. It's because he has so much power. Oh my god. That dude just had like a crazy amount of power. Where is... Where is the road up? Where is road up? Oh, I'm just waiting to siege that. That's why. Come on. And there it is. Good. All to me. Thank you very much. Huzzah! The conquest of Sparta. The city of Sparta has finally fallen to our troops and is now in our hands. When the two major actors, as well as one of the cities states who struggle with Persian oppression, the Lacedaemonians are almost mythical for their undeniable war prowess and army strength despite their minor population numbers. After the Macedonians came to the stage in regional politics, Sparta lost most of their importance and a huge part because of their declining population. With the city under control, men and advisors wonder how we should treat our old enemy. Many people are asking for us to sack it to the ground. It should remain unharmed or some artifacts be taken back, or for 10 years, I get a big pile of heavy infantry discipline. What it becomes a settlement? No, no, no. I mean, we could kill a little bit and get some cash. How many people live in Sparta right now? Only 35. I don't really care about that. Some artifacts will be taken back home. And the Corinthian elite pass judgment on the most important families. Yeah, because of the Corinth. And the Aeolian elite will banish them. Alright, the great families of the League of Corinth. Reckless. Seems good. This chap. Oh yeah, this guy's young too. Reckless Filiad. Small family. Let's go. Arbitrary founder and generous. Cool. Got increased attraction of air. No blood, but that's okay. This guy's dead. He doesn't have a family. Oh my god. Screw you. This guy doesn't have a family either. What? Directly and directly out. Oh my god. All these people are dead. 
These people are all dead. What the heck? Fine. Heraclius Filiod. Have the rest crucified, for God's sake. And the Aeolian Civil War ends. Yeah, no, no shit it does. Okay, and that's the mission done. Fourth Fetter. Uh, local fen defense or established plutocracy. Owns the entire mainland region of Greece, excluding Epirus. Gain established philonecrity. All owned and Hellenistic subject owned. Provinces in the mainland region of Greece will receive established... So tax, 10% tax and 10% pop assimilation speed. Don't mind if I do. Under Macedonian rule, a system of plutarchs, military governors, has been established to manage the garrisons of the Greek cities to ensure the loyalty of their people and governments to our cause. As first season insult, time has and will make Greece realize the peace of our Plutarchs guarantees far more value than the freedom to wage wars over cattle disputes with our neighbors. Heck, yeah, that's useful. And then we just need to finish this little conflict with Crete. And then we can think about some other wars. I mean, the Rome one is definitely something we need to think about. Try and get some more pops, take some more of that, and just start gobbling them up. I mean, Rome are big boys. I don't mind waiting, taking like this little mountain areas and fighting them to a standstill. But we'll see. We have a little bit of a uh, overuse of food here, but that's okay. Come on, buddy, you can do this. These guys mercs or are these my legion? These are actually my legion. Oh my god. I don't have a commander. Holy crap. My Stratos of Macedonia. My legion. Ooh. Elite commander, no. Disciplined 77 year old. I wonder if it's possible to make my my heir. So Cassandros and Oh, maybe not. What? Why is it going back like that? Stop that. Um, because his kid is probably the first one. Menos Antipedet. Let's try that. The commander. Nope, he's not available. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go for this guy. He looks young enough. And then a nice legate. Just like that. And Europa is currently in a war of independence against us. Not cool, dude. Not cool. Not cool at all. Okay. And that's pretty much done, done right? Ah, come on. Oh, we still need to fight these guys. We're fighting Rhodes again. I didn't even realize. Nice. Let's keep killing them then. Oh, my bad, boys. Come on back, ships. Pick, pick these lads up. Let's go north and beat up Europa. Twisting the knife. It's begun to viewing of jealousy and distrust. Well, of course. Why wouldn't you? You gotta. You gotta view people with endless distrust. It's the only way, right? Let's, uh... Okay, Alexander has fallen ill. Unfortunate, to say the least. Let's get these guys embarked. We can kill these guys real quick. And let's just increase these guys a little bit. We need to try and get some strength here. Because our legion are obviously heavies in the first, light in the last. With heavy cavalry on the sides. So, let's go. Boom. And we need some more imports. Like, for example, wine or maybe base metals. Wine would give me legion maintenance cost, and base metals would give me light infantry offense. Let's get four wine. 
Kindly. Ah. Our rebellions is just too damn high, yo. Too much. So you got plenty of heavies, though. And our AE is nice and solid as well. A few mercs over here. Let's move them up. A little fort here. Gee, I do not need this many forts. God damn. These forts are not necessary. Oh, I just lost. My legions got wrecked. Okay. Not ideal. Hey, what's up, Fulamon? I'm doing good, buddy. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, we need to deal with this pretty fast here. Awesome, awesome. Just get these boys out of here. I'll just drop these mercs real fast. And then... Establish the powers of our Plutarchs will give more administrative bent to anything disputes and ensuring smooth function of local government. Uh, I don't want to select this because now it's not going to get. Uh, it's not going to happen over there. Fortunate because there's a rebellion. Okay. For our Aegean, I have to own like a billion more. A little bit more in Flourishing Macedon and finally Fourth Fetter. Uh, the strategic city of Shalkis and Krith was lumbering garrison by Macedonian troops to shook control over central Greece, but beyond the latter, the Peloponnesus is entirely lacking insurance against insurrection. The Spartans are beginning to get on track. The ideas kept from Nikian heads, the fourth fetter is required by Ethom. Okay, but I've already I already own them, bro. Like what? Right. <laughs> uh so so wait, what do I need for the mission? Sorry? Where's your Macedon? Thessaloniki needs fifty pops. Right. Fine. Let's get it from Euphoria. There you go. What else do you need? No free building slots or ongoing constructions. Okay. Um, I think we're kind of working towards nobility here, aren't we? So let's go for an academy. And then over in Pela. God, look at look at that output. That is fantastic. Oh my god. Going for Troya. Yeah, I think that's a good goal, right, Fulan? Oh, look at that. That's nice. I like that a lot because... Oh, baby. We clearly need more pop uh, space. And then maybe another... So do you want another court of law for citizen happiness? Let's go for another one for the nobility happiness because, man, are they helpful. Yeah, let's go. We're going to go for as much as we can, my friend. I got these guys here, my mercenaries. Here to kick ass and take names. See if we can do it. Get the legions over here. We'll take that. My boys are... My little vassal boys are taking care of a lot of work for me, which is good. And AE is surprisingly going down at a decent decent little speed. And then we just have to slap everybody else. Nice and easy. Alright, in the next episode we'll finish this war off and see what we can do about maybe approaching Rome soon. And their war of Scania is again as well. See you next time. Bye-bye.